Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. If you're my regular viewers, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. So I thought today I would just do a nice, easy, simple salon set um, using um, just one color of acrylic and then gel polish, all from Glitter Bells as usual. And just for a bit of a change, I thought I would show you um, me actually putting on the tips on my flexi hand. So the tips I'm using, you can see out of the corner of your eye there on the right hand of the screen, I'm using my extreme length tips from Glitter Bells. These are their new tips and they are super, super easy to use. There's no well area in them, so you don't have to blend anything. And they're so versatile, depending on what shape you want to do. You can keep them stiletto, you can do them coffin and you can do them square, tapered square. So, so very easily with these nail, these nail tips, they are fantastic. Now that I have all the tips on, I'm going in with my tip cutters and I'm just taking off the end of those tips just to leave this nice coffin shape. And you don't have to do any more um, filing or shaping, but what I have done is I have removed the shine. It's just habit for me, you don't need to do it, but it's just the way I think um, I always do it. So I'm going in now with the cashmere cover from Glitter Bells. It's one of their core powders. But for this, this one, in, um, sort of especially, I find that it cures really, really quick. I couldn't even spread that down the whole nail because it literally was just starting to cure as soon as I put it on the nail. So what I have discovered with using this particular one, the cashmere cover, is I... If I'm doing larger areas, I do not drain out um, the liquid out of my brush. I just put it straight on the nails. Um, I don't know why it's different to the other ones. Maybe it's because of the color. I'm not sure. But um, yeah, it doesn't. It, it cures very, very quick. For this set, I'm only going to be using the cashmere cover and just for a change, I'm going to be using some of the Glitter Bells gel polish to do any of the designs and the nail art. Um, with the cashmere cover, I am going to pinch it once it has started to mattify just to give the nails the, a nice narrow, sleek look. You can see just how wet I'm working with this acrylic um, because it, it, I can't express enough just how it is literally curing the minute that it touches the nail. Um, I have never known an acrylic to do this before. So I don't know, I think I might actually um, put something on the support page just to see if any other technicians have um, come across this as well or whether it's just me. So 
So I am going to let you go ahead and watch me apply the rest of this acrylic and then I'll come back whenever we start to file. So now that they're all cured, I'm going to go in and do my normal filing routine, which is starting at the side walls, then I go to the lower arch and then the free edge. When I'm filing this um, cashmere cover though, it, does, it doesn't feel like I'm filing a core powder. It's very, very soft. Um, so I don't know whether, I, I, I really don't know whether this is maybe just I don't know like a bad batch or something but um, I think if I was using this again I would definitely put glass slippers over the top of this because it really is so soft. So a quick wipe over with some alcohol just before I start to apply the gel polishes and the polishes that I'm using today are of course from Glitter Bells and they are Mint Choc Chip and Sassy. On the middle two fingers I'm going in with a base coat and I'm not going to cure it because base coat is, I'm sorry you can hear my son, he's playing on his Xbox. Um, the base coat is an awful lot more fluid than, um, you know, like a, a top coat and that. So it kind of acts a bit like a bloom gel if you don't cure it and you put gel over it. 
you don't get the full bloom effect but you do get a semi bloom effect <laughs> so i'm putting in um the mint chalk chip the sassy and a little bit of the halo yellow gold and i'm just mixing that all up with my dotting tool and i'm picking it up with my brush and just spreading it over the nail just in that little swishy s movement that i always do I'm just taking some mint chalk chip and I'm just adding a little bit to that because it kind of got lost whenever I mixed it and picked it up. So before I cure, I'm just going ahead and adding some more. I'm only adding um, enough onto my little plate there just to do one nail at a time. That way um, you can easier control the, like the, um, the marble effect when you do one nail at a time. So onto the ring finger and I'm just doing exactly the same as what I did in the middle finger and the, the good thing about doing marbles is they're never the same so you get a completely different patter, pattern with every marble that you do. So I'm just getting in with a little bit more of the mint chalk chip just to add like a highlight to that marble and then I will also go in with some more of the yellow gold and that will just finish the nails off. So it's a, it's a super simple easy quick design that you can do um, you know for your clients when we eventually get to start back to work and um, I think it will be a very popular design for the summer. So on to the pointer finger now and I'm going in with Sassy. I'm just doing like a arch shape on the nail and then I'm going to go in with the brush from the gel polish and I'm going to fill that in with Sassy. I'm just cleaning up any little bits that um, just are outside of that little arch that I was making just before I cure it. On to the little finger now and instead of getting in with the sassy I'm going in with mint chalk chip. So the little finger and the pointer finger will sort of be opposites of each other. So where I have done the sassy on the pointer finger I'm going in with mint chalk chip and then I will also go in with mint chalk chip back onto the pointer finger just to create a design. So I'm doing two coats of the gel polish, so two coats of the sassy, two coats of the mint chalk chip, <laughs> I actually forgot what it was there, and then I'm going to go in and do just like another arch above each of those in the opposite colour.
So just to do the rest of the design, I'm going in with my little striper brush and I'm just creating that arch in the opposite colour and then I'll go ahead and cure them. And just to finish them off with the gel polish, I'm just going with another little highlight of that yellow gold. And then I will I will stick with sort of the gold theme and I will go in with some gold rhinestones and decals. As they're just normal sized uh, rhinestones and decals, I'm just going in with Glitter Bell's non-wipe gel top coat and I'm just going to cure the rhinestones into that. So I thought I would add something just a little bit different to the nails um, other than just rhinestones and I got these little ones from Amazon and they came in a pack of three and they were, I think were they $5.99? I will put the link below in the description box for you. Now I'm just getting in with some of my gold rhinestones just to add to the, um, the gold decals that I've used there. Guys, don't forget about the giveaway that I have on my last video. So you will see the thumbnail um, that has giveaway on it. Please go on, watch that video, see what you need to do to be in with a chance to win. And good luck. And here's the finished set guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, you can go ahead and do that now. And please don't forget about the giveaway. Give yourself a chance of winning and I will see you all in the next video. So take care. See you soon. Bye.